here we are the day before the game. So I'm practicing here. Got a plastic ball and this foam ball. That's what it looks like from this Yeah. I didn't know that she was coming in. I'm practicing. Where did the ball go? Oh, thank you. Hi. But anyways, this is what all this looks like. Here. It's a madhouse here. That was the longest I ever went without talking. Anyways, it is 6.45 in the morning. There's like 40 or 50 people sleeping in that house. And here's the whip. We're gonna do a little golf course review. Oh, how the fuck do I get out? We're here for a wedding. And um, obviously we're sharing this giant house. And I don't know how to get out. Let's see if it just opens automatically. Oh, I hope it does. Starting route to Kahuku Golf Course. Please open. I don't know how I'm gonna come back if it's closed. Please open. Oh, it opens fucking inwards. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay, gotta come back. Tiny little bag. It's good to have backup clubs in your bag. This doesn't take up much space. And um, you know, in case it's raining when you get to a course or whatever it may be, you don't want your set to get wet or you don't, I don't know, it's just good to have like backup clubs. And it's not a full set. It's just something that's good enough. I got a three wood, a hybrid, seven iron, two edges and a putter and basically you just want to be able to cover all major yardages 200 150 100 and pretty much that's it as long as you can cover those yardages everything else is just adjustment as much as it pains me and as much as i spent on my four-wheeler push cart i had to rent a cart because obviously i got lots of stuff to carry so um it's four dollars to rent this which is not bad because now I don't have to carry my stuff. My super tiny bag here. All right, so hole number one, incredible wind, um, right to left wind, and it's 169 yards. I can't tell if that's a bunker in the front of it or that's the green that is just brown. I'm guessing that's the green. That was not good. I'm blaming the clubs. I don't play these clubs. Alright, so hole number one, quote unquote fairway is surrounded by these trees. Um, some kind of oceanside pine tree. I don't know what you call that. That sounds good, oceanside pine tree. And uh, my tee shot, I pushed out way out to the right. I didn't even slice it, I think I just blocked it out to the right. That is definitely not a bunker, that's the color of the green. I don't know if you call that a putting green or a putting brown. Thing up to my ball here. And it looks like I'm like 50 yards away. It says 60, but I don't know about that. What a shot, almost got it in. But look at what I'm hitting off of. It's basically sand. I mean, it's sand, grass growing out of it. So that would be putting for par, if you can see my ball on the green. Oh yeah, I don't know the 
the layout of this course. So I gotta make sure I'm just following those guys at all times. I think the hardest part about a backup set of clubs will probably be the putter. Oh my God, these greens are awesome. The not awesome. I'm gonna write down on the scorecard or just call it out. Alright, hole number two, 484 yards, and I'm ripping my old three wood. Bro, that wind is something. They're pulling up to my T shot, and I sliced it so bad, I'm like two fairways over. So I'm just gonna punch it back on my side. I say maybe I'll just hit a seven just to get it back over. All right, I had a pretty decent shot coming back onto our fairway. I don't know how far. Everything you hit is shorter than you think. I mean, if you think that uh, balls travel that distance at sea level versus like high altitude, you're damn skippy. Because I'm hitting my drive less than 200 yards. It's not a driver, granted, but yeah. And I only hit it once, so what am I talking about? 215 yards. 215. I'm still gonna rip three wood. Hopefully, I can run up. Right, so I was 215 out. This is the green. My ball is way over there. I got decent distance, just a uh, pretty bad aim. And I think this is a driving range, right? I see a bunch of balls all over and I see that one guy hitting. This gotta be the driving range. And I think this driving range is cool. You start in the middle and you can hit either way. kind of thinned it over the green just the salt in the air it just like fills your pores you just feel sticky and salty and it was that my third fourth shot that was my fourth so I like went way over the green it's hard to tell how to hit off the ground because it is sand but it's also grass <laughs> I got a long putt for Came back in two, three, four, five. Long putt back for bogey. Probably gonna take two or three putts here, so I'm gonna stop recording. Considering what the greens look like, they are extremely fast. I don't know why, but um, it was a three putter. I got a plus two on that one. I'm a three over par right now. Uh, third tee up the hill. It's kind of exciting. Anytime you play at a course that you've never played at before, it's exciting because uh, you don't know what to expect and um, you probably play a little bit worse than you would because everything is blind but um, it says up the hill which hill number three par three so yeah this is weird there's number hole number seven par five hole number three par three Oh, I was looking at the wrong guys, following these guys. Oh, this looks fun. 150. Long, you're dead. Right, you're dead. Left, you're absolutely dead. Um, short, if you're gonna miss, miss short. Um, considering the altitude, lack of altitude and the wind, I'm gonna hit a soft hybrid. I don't think I can hit a seven iron. It's probably playing more about 180, maybe 165 yards considering the conditions. So um, I'm just gonna play up. Actually, I could hit the seven because short is better. Who am I talking to anyways? 
So this course is a little bit different. Par 35, there's four par threes, three par fives, and two par fours. So that's pretty interesting. Um, what we have here is 150 yards. Lots of stuff can go wrong. I'm just gonna try and hit a little puncher, keep it under the wind, and short is okay. puncher but I think I got it there all right pulling up to my ball I got decent distance and I didn't hit it out too offline so this should be uh, more or less easy up and down I mean that's a plus I'm hitting off of grass this is the OB Um, this should be pretty tap inable. I really want to get this par. It's a par, I'm uh, three over after three holes, and that's okay with me, bogey golf. All right, so I'm headed to tee box number four. I think it's another par three. Looking up this hill, this is kind of cool, I guess. I think if you could manage the wind, you could shoot pretty low over here. Right. Hole for 110 yards par 3. This is the cardboard soda box as a sign. Where do I go? No ways. Sweet! So I'm assuming this is the hitting mat and um, the green is over there. This is kind of awesome. I don't know if the camera angle can reach. 110 yards, I just got a pitching wedge. I'm just gonna try and, I mean, basically you just wanna flight it straight. A little long. I didn't think it would fly that long. Um, I'm by the fence. Kind of where they are. All right, so I'm just gonna walk down this trail to the green and we'll see where my ball landed. If the ball is too close to the fence, I'm gonna take a little fence relief, but you know. The greens are surprisingly fast rolling. Hole number five is a par four. I thought it was cardboard soda box holding the sign up, but it's an actual wooden sign. All right, I'm four over after four holes, so bogey golf. Got a par four. yards and it's just running down so I'm gonna take the hybrid and just kind of cut it it was okay all right this thing is spilling downhill delicate touch here They finish. Anyways, we'll do a quick what's in the bag. What's in my bag? These nuts. My three wood is X Hot Callaway. I like Callaway. The four hybrid is a Heaven Wood. And then I got my Adams 7 iron. It's all mixed up. Callaway pitching wedge. My, I got a bulky sand wedge. And a Tommy Armor. Tommy Armor? I don't know what the hell this is. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, that's my reserve clubs. This view is pretty 
spectacular. Oh, walking up that hill kind of busted me, but yeah. <sighs> Missed the putt by less than half an inch. All right, pulling down to hole number, number seven. seven is a par five. So just about 500 yards. Seven, 492. Yards. 492. I'm gonna tee it a little higher to get a little extra distance. My goal is to clear that little patch of bush. George W. Bush. a question for you um, so I am like I said I'm using my backup clubs and it's a half bag I got six clubs putter is one of them so what would your six clubs be because I feel like I'm using the three wood of course I didn't bring a driver three wood is more versatile because you can hit it off the fairway a little easier than a driver and off the tee you can rip it pretty much just as far for the most part maybe 15 20 yards shorter but um, I like three wood so what would be your six clubs? Comment down below. Pulling up to my ball. I just wanted to out hit that bush and I did not out hit the bush. Um, pretty much lined up with the bush. See, it's still over 300 yards. I didn't even hit the tee shot 200. That's gotta be elevation, right? Like right at sea level. it probably landed on the green just kind of bounced into the sand so um Approaching hole number eight, uh, and this is literally on the ocean side. Matter of fact, I got the divot right after the T. Check this out. T divot after. That means I hit ball first, then the ground, and it went straight. All right, here's the thing about municipal courses and this one specifically. If you've never been here before, you don't know where to go. Like, I'm assuming I'm going the right way, right? It's hard to tell. You see the white tee I'm hitting from, the red is right in front, makes me feel like I'm going this way. But there's no yardage markers or really anything. And the guys in front of me, I lost them. I don't know where they are. And I don't see anywhere where a green would be. I'm just uh, walking. I know I hit the ball straight. No matter how where is my ball? It's 379. Where is the tee? I mean, where's the green or the putting surface? So I ripped that one. Yeah, I think I see the flag down there. And that's why we bring back up clubs because it's starting to rain. By the way, the tee shot I hit, that was the best three wood I hit. Especially with that three wood. It was 378 or 379 from the tee. And my uh, second shot, I was 142, I forget. It was about 230, 240 yards. And that's good for me. Oh. Uh, um, that's the green. It was a total blind shot. Oh, there it is, I see it. Now Matt, see this perfect situation? This is why I have the hybrid. Because I would probably skull it, trying to hit a wedge facing downhill on, on a, towards the uphill green. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll hit the wedge, what you should be hitting here. And then if um, it's bad, I'll show you what the hybrid would do.
okay that that was pretty good a little long okay here this is why i brought the hybrid this is what the hybrid would do it's just a safer play because when you think what's the worst can happen what's the worst can happen when you're chipping with a wedge worst can happen you can scull it flying 100 yards but if you're just chipping with a hybrid what's the worst can happen probably just hit it a little long like that so i'm gonna play the wedge because that was my real shot but just to show that the hybrid is actually a play so i'm putting downhill for par just a bogey machine first putt i just wanted to lag it near i didn't think i would actually hit the putt second time so anyways i got another bogey i'm playing the ninth hole and then i'm gonna play all nine holes again and but i'm not gonna record it i'll just tell you the truth if i did better or not chances are i'll do better unless um i just get really bad putts but here you go final hole 474 par five hit it back towards the beginning I don't know what you call that the parking lot that's how windy it is that was a full rip three wood and it only went like 165 or something all right it's my third shot 146 and uh, looks like the green is kind of running down you can only see the top of the flag don't even know if you can see the ball it's so dark here um, here we go Didn't really grab that one. All right, I'm approaching the green. Uh, uh, would be my fourth hit. So if I'm on the green, two putt for par, and that's fine with me. I think that would finish me off at seven over. But uh, yeah, so we're just looking for my ball. Right now, the wind grabbed it in the midair. It was tracking right on line, and you can see which way the trees are blowing and the flag. And since like it's ocean side breeze, that thing pushes and I did not know there was a front bunker. If anything, it carried to the right. Nope. You see at the bottom of that sign, I see something pink there that's probably my ball. Oh, it is. I carried. So I'm just gonna give myself a little generous little tap out I'll play my fourth shot from here so this is all I'm gonna do I'll show you what it looks like Go over that way I might get a cool vantage heading towards me hopefully I carry this and not skull it right into my camera I saw that shot of course you didn't but um, yeah, landed pretty close to the hole and a uh, little roll up because these greens are super hard and my old wedges have no grooves left. All right, putting for par. If anything, I'm gonna two putt. I'll just video this whole thing because if I finish off with a par, that would be good. Asterix par because I gave myself a little tap out of the bush. finished with bogey sometimes um, yeah so anyways that was a plus eight 35 43 so I shot a 43 uh, this is gonna end the video basically what I have to say about this of course it's cool it's really quiet because there's nobody around here it's walking only it was pretty cheap or is that regular oh the push hand cart was only four dollars so I paid thirty dollars for 18 holes renting the cart the issue I have with the fairway is it's, since we're like on the ocean side, there's a lot of sand. You're hitting basically off of crappy grass planted in sand or growing out of sand. There's probably no sprinklers. The only watering that it has is like the ocean mist or rain. If it, uh, I think it rains a lot on this side. Besides the, the terrain, 
and the wind. The greens are awful, very fast and awful. It's not that hard of a course, lots of par threes. Like I was saying, there's what, like four par threes, three par fives and two par fours. Is that equal nine holes? If you um, are ever on this side of the island, give this course a whirl, just so you can say, I played well when it golf played. And then um, you'll probably be the coolest kid that you know. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.